If you have a dense mesh like this and you want to get rid of some of the unnecessary edges or polygons, all you have to do is add a decimate modifier, which you can find under modifiers, decimate modifier, and just reduce the ratio here, and that should get rid of some of the vertices. And now you're not seeing any changes here because this only previews in uh, object mode. And uh, if you want to preview how this is working, you can turn on wireframe. And now you can see how it's getting rid of any unnecessary details while trying to preserve the topology or the look of uh, the mesh. So you can see that uh, we're getting rid of some of the most of the detail without changing the final look of the mesh. You can also affect just regions of your mesh. For example, if I know that uh, I want to maintain the vertex count or polygon count in some areas, say here, uh, that I want there, Let's say I want the polygon density here, all I have to do is go to vertex mode or edge mode and then select a few regions, the regions where I want, where I want uh, to have those polygons. So for example here, then add a new vertex group, assign. Now if I go to weight paint, you can see, if I start off this wireframe, you can see the vertices that I've selected. Now, let me turn that back on, go back to decimate and select the vertex group I've just created. You can see that uh, right now we, have, we are reducing the vertices just around here, but uh, if I invert this, then it will just remove vertices everywhere else but that side, but this area. You can also, if you are in white paint, you can also, let me first get rid of this wireframe so that we can see. And see there is a hard line here, but uh, you can diffuse that or blur it out by just going under the weights and try to blur everything. Let's see, normalize. Or you can just use the blur tool here. You just blur that. Just maybe increase the radius. And this should also affect uh, the how this is decimated. You can also try to smooth. That should do the same thing as the blur. You can see now it should affect how the decimate is working.